Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In this video session, I will share Arithmetic shift right, logical shift left, logical shift right, and rotate right instruction This four instruction in, is discussed in one subchapter by Kiel Because the difference between them or the top, the what we call it the operation is quite similar among all of this instruction first let's look to the syntax all is all instruction for asr lsl lsr and ror we must use s meaning that we must update always update uh, psr register destination register are all optional and for certain certain instruction we can use immediate as a uh, number of bit that we want to shift or arithmetic shift however for rotate it is mandatory for us to use register we cannot use immediate value next let's let us look to the limitation restriction okay all register must involve r0 until r7 only Okay, and for condition flags, only N and Z flag affected. For C, C flag is updated to the last bit that is shifted out. Okay, what else? This is the example how to write the correct syntax. Okay, for immediate value, for instruction arithmetic shift right, this immediate value can be from 1 to 32, but for the logical shift to the left, LSL, this immediate value is only limited to limited from 0 to 31 only. You cannot use uh, 0 for arithmetic shift right or logical shift right. Okay, but to the left, you can use zero. That is the limitation uh, set by the manufacturer. Okay, let us go to uh, simulator, to our simulator. Okay, here. I write this coding uh, to share with you uh, how these instructions work. Okay. First, um, we look to the arithmetic shift instruction. Next logical shift left third logical shift right and last rotate right and again remember for logical we can shift to the left or shift to the right but for the rotate we only have rotate right only we don't have a uh, rotate left rol we don't have rol okay please bear in mind about that facts First, we build a file. Okay, zero error. Of course, zero error because I already corrected so many errors before I start record this video. <laughs> okay. First, we load uh, data to the register R0 and R1. R0, I use uh, load uh, instruction. But for move, I use uh, uh, sorry for R1, I use move instruction. Okay, see the value x0 and value 04 is already transferred to the R1, and we start with arithmetic shift to the right by 2 bit. What is arithmetic, what is arithmetic shift, and how this arithmetic shift to the right instructions work? Let's go to uh, Excel. Template Excel. Okay. Let's say this is the number of bit. Bit number 0 until number 30, 31. So, to, to make our discussion easy, I use, I give value, all 0 value to the, to all bit, except for this bit only. 
โอเคซูอินเฮกซาอินเฮกซาฟอร์มดิสวิลเอพิเอลไลค์ 0000002 when you group this four to get hexa value you will get one a uh, two here eh? so hexa 00002 when i do the arithmetic shift when we mention arithmetic we must always alert to the sign bit because the arithmetic mean that we do the process for the for the purpose of either to multiply or to divide okay so this is the what we call it a uh, sign bit i move one bit to the to the right arithmetic instruction is arithmetic shift right update flag okay it work like this when i When the instruction arithmetic shift right, one bit, I move this bit to the right, and then I move this bit to the right. I move all bit to the right by one bit, like this. Okay, but please, uh, for okay, for sign bit also, we need to. Move. Sorry, we need to. Oh yes, we need to move one bit to the to the right, and then we will get a vacant place here. For arithmetic shift, vacant place, we must copy this. We must copy its original value. Before this, the value here is zero, so we must. Remain zero at the sign bit. How about this zero that we move out from our first bit, bit number zero? This zero will go to C. What is C? C is carry flag in X P P S R register. Okay. The new value will be zero, 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 all zero, and here it will be become one. So new value will be zero x zero 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 one. Okay, one here. You notice that the value, the original value of two now is divided by. Oh no no no! Is divide by two. Two divided by two, you will get one. Okay, but the most important thing is is. Uh, To understand how this arithmetic shift instructions work, okay. What if we shift uh, three bit to the right? Okay, I change this example. Uh, I use, I put one here, so the value. Will be zero zero one zero. Okay, one here in hexa one here zero one zero, and the rest are all zeros. If I move arithmetic shift right, let's say this register the register is R zero by. Three bit, oh, like this. So, what we do is we copy all this value, and then we move three bit one, two, three. 
one two three and here we must copy always copy the the sign with value so this zero sorry the last zero that move out from the register will go to to C and the rest will lost remember the last zero will go to C will move to C and the rest will be overwritten by the the new coming uh, bit that move out from the register so new value will be new value will be zero 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 two zero x zero 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 two so the original value one zero is equivalent to one zero this one zero in hexa if you convert to decimal is equivalent to value to value 60 new value is equivalent to 2 so 16 2 is equivalent to 16 divided by 16 sorry 16 divided by 2 for the first time we shift and again divide by 2 for the second time we shift and again divide by another 2 for the third time we shift so first 16 divided by 2 you will get 8 second 8 divided by 2 you will get 4 so third 4 we divide by 2 we will get 2 so this is the result so we can say that for the arithmetic shift if we shift for the first time or for one bit it's equivalent to we divide the original value inside the register by 2 and if we shift a 2 bit to the right it is equivalent to we divide the value by 4 if we move 3 divide by 8 if we move 4 divide by 16 32 64 1 to 8 and and on and on okay that's why we call this instruction arithmetic shift remember that for a arm cortex m0 or m0 plus we didn't have divide instruction the only instruction that we can use to divide to do the, the division process is arithmetic shift however the limitation is we only can divide all the value by either 2 or 4 or 8 or 16 or 32 64 and so on okay hope you got it after this next video we will uh, see uh, in a KLC